Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Google Ads to Power BI in 2023. Google Ads, of course, is a powerful advertising platform and Power BI is an advanced business analytics tool. So in this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate Google Ads with Power BI for in-depth data analysis and reporting. So let's dive right into this video and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign in to our Google Ads account. To do so, make sure to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use this Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you do so, just go to the channel section and simply type ads.google.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll be taken to Google Ads right away. So make sure to sign in into your account. If you have an account, as you can see at the top right corner, and if you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account for yourself. So for me, I'll just sign in into my account here. And of course, uh, they said the step is uh, the verification is uh, necessary. So let's just do it. So here I'll just enter my password. We just go and get that password uh, from here. I'll type it here, click on next. Okay, it's not this one, maybe it's this one. Let's see, click on next. And yeah, I guess it is. So, okay, uh, use your phone as your second step sign in. Of course, I can see more options. I'll click continue, why not? Save and use another backup option as an example and or i'll use my number said why not you can use just a text message uh, but this is i don't think it's not my number i'll need to change it so i'll change that number and i'm coming back so never mind it was like uh the right number team so let's just click on next here and turn on why not and of course i can turn it off whenever i want so just add whatever you want as an example other than that you'll be able to do whatever you want here and that's gonna be it i guess so let's just go back i guess to google ads and let's see so now as you can see we are in google ads so basically what we'll have to do here is i guess that's it so yeah i'll just exit the guide i don't need this so once you created your account now what you'll need to do is simply as we said because we would like to connect google ads to power bi so let's just go open a new tab type power bi and of course as you can see you'll have to go again and create an account here so if you have an account just go and uh, log in into it but if you don't you'll have to go and click on try free and create an account on it and as you can see you'll have to enter your emails so submit as an example and here we are we will have our account so of course you'll have to keep creating your account or finish this account for me i'll not do this so we will not take a lot of time so what you'll need to do now is simply go and open a new tab go tap zapier.com and hit the enter button again create an account on this as you can see we have like so many creations but it does not Again, it's not going to be that hard. It does not uh, take a lot of time. Of course, this you can log in with the Google account. Uh, so it's not be like taking from you a lot of time. Of course, uh, you can create an account with Google, Apple, Facebook, and SSO, I guess, if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating an account. Now, what you'll need to do is simply go to the select panel and click on this apps right here as an example. So just go and click on that app. And once you are here, go and click on search apps. Here, we'll have to look for by power first of all or power by by microsoft or you can simply type like here microsoft let's see if we'll find uh, something here explore more connections and of course here as we said we'll have to type microsoft and see if they have the by uh, power here or power by here so as you can see they don't have it so Okay, it's fine. Let's just go and look for Google Ads. And as you can see, they have it here. So just go to your Google Ads as an example and make sure to connect that, of course. So let's go back to the page that's where we're at. So here we'll have to type Google Ads. 
as you can see click on connect you'll have to connect your account of course it's going to be this one so just see create edit and a lot of other stuff and click on continue and as you can see it will be connected now now go to the flash panel click on create a zap and here you can use this automated tool which is powered by ai or you can go and do everything manually so go to this ui tool and i'll type as an example uh, i don't know uh, when i get some i don't know some data maybe in my power bi uh, creates a campaign as an example on google ads why not and click on generate and let's see what the ai will tell us so let's just wait a bit should not take a lot of time and as you can see power bi may not be currently supported and so if it's not supported you can simply send a request to get it added to the app directory but it might even be supported and you cannot find it here how so you can simply because if we go like let's just go open a new tab of zap here and here on this list panel go and click on upgrade the plan and as you can see in the free plan you'll not find all the apps so in the free plan you'll not find all the apps make sure to go to click on this unlimited uh, premium apps and search for the app that you want which is power bi and hit the enter button and we have to see if we'll find this or not so if we didn't find it that means it does not even uh, appear in the premium apps so we'll basically have to go and send the request click on it and you'll have to send a request as you can see so just follow those steps to send a request and don't worry if you're one of their play paid plans you will uh, your request will get uh, like accepted as soon as possible and if you're not your request even will get accepted but you may take more time so once it gets accepted of course and once it's added just go and connect it the same way and simply go back here and type whatever you want uh, to do with that connection from google ads to power bi and of course once you have it here click on try it uh, edit the triggers edit the actions edit the events however you want as example because here instead of this company hub you'll find like your power bi uh, edit the account events and everything Wh however you want here make some actions if the trigger is uh, done or is checked and you will be good to go and of course if you reach this point of this video uh, congratulations you've successfully like you'll be connected uh, google ads with power bi in 2023 and of course with this integration you can perform details data analysis and create dynamic reports for your advertising campaigns and make sure to regularly export uh, like the power pi features and capabilities to enhance your reporting capabilities or instead you can make like a connection if you want like directly uh, if you don't need this automation automation you'll be able to do some connection from power uh, bi uh, you can simply download their app once you created your account and go to home tab and select get data search for and select google ads from the list available connectors and enter google ads api credentials and you'll be able to connect your google ads account and you'll be good to go so thanks for watching of course and i'll see you in the next video